We are back in the bus. Today I'm going to attempt to take out the heater back here and then there's some hoses over here that need to be taken care of and I am feeling a little bit under the weather. My mom thinks it might be allergies. I'm hoping that's what it is. I really don't feel like doing this today, but I can't wait to get it done. So my, um, my older brother's gonna try and help me. I've literally watched every single video that pops up on YouTube where they remove the heater and I'm hoping that this goes even like remotely smoothly at all. I just want to get it done. I want to get it over with so I can go rest. I'm not looking forward to doing it but I'm looking forward to having it done. So with that being said, let's get to work. Let's see. So we're thinking that maybe if we take all these clamps off of here, we can just push this through and uh, take care of it from underneath so I don't have to worry about it on top. So I'm pretty sure all these just went to the AC that was in the back. And if that's the case, then I really just don't need them. We just want to make sure that it's not going to affect anything else as far as the bus goes because there's been some people and I, I don't know, I'm not a professional who have said that it can, the wiring and stuff can affect whether or not the bus starts. All right, I took all those clamps off. Yeah, I could definitely uh, push them down. Oh, yeah. They go way up to the front somewhere. But so far so good. They can just come right out that hole. I think. Just want to push it out for now. Yeah, because if uh, we can just clamp them off if they don't do anything. That's the end of it. It's got some metal on the... There it goes. <laughs> Bend it a little bit. There it goes. Cool. Out of there for now. That's step one. Yeah, this thing goes all the way up to the front, dude. I think it's real easy to do with. See nothing. So we're trying to figure oh, out where these doggy. go. I think this is them. This. Do it. I mean, I don't know. I can't tell from back, back under here. This, this is it. So we got under the hood and the people that we bought it from already disconnected the AC. It's already like cut off. So we just kind of disconnected it even further underneath the hood. And so that's taken care of. So now we are going to have to get under the bus back here and look at the heater. And I'm just assuming that we're gonna have to drain that uh, and, and cap it off. If I can't get out, what's, what, what's the plan? Uh, I'll feed you. They actually don't feed me. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you get out. That looks super old. So, dude. Yeah. This just has to have a little U cap thing, right? A little U connecting these together. I don't know what a U cap is, but I do. Neither do I. It. We're going to figure it out. Well, I was thinking to get two elbows and uh, we can use and reuse some of that that black wire stuff and cap it that way oh yeah i'm done yeah you could just get a little connector just like that connect right here mm -hmm. well um here's the deal let me see if this works right here so, give us a little slack and slack i need a flathead and 
We can pretty much do it right here. Do you want me to take this off and drain it? Yeah. Well, there you go. Your van's pretty nice under there too. Like once you go under there, it looks like you got a decent amount of space too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, perfect. Oh. Man, dude. If this goes all over me, I'm not gonna be real happy about that. I just need a knife. Oh wait, I got it. That's not a whole lot. It's barely cut. Oh. It's gonna go all over me, look. No, there's a lot, dude. And this is purified antifreeze. I didn't even mix it. No, uh, maybe not. <clears throat> Jelena, oh man. It's so going down my back. Look. It's connected by some wires, uh, but I think they're just tied on there. They're not even connected, well, I think. Well, probably gonna need to cut them and cap them. So, there might be power going on. Well, I know that's why I'm not trying to cut them per se. Here, I'll come out. So it's two. I need to get some more wire. You got wire cut? Oh, those are not wire nuts, right? Okay. I'm gonna make a work or just okay. you got black tape? Uh, no. You got black tape? Yeah. We got the lines out. We drained them. So this thing's out. The only thing that's connecting them is this right here, which um, my brother said should be good to just cut these and, and cap them. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just right here. Just right there. Fine, I can. Uh -huh. Well, these two obviously were out power at one point. They did. See, I cut them different length. It's not like that. It's just a little good. This one ain't gonna work. Uh, see, if we just use that, it might be too little. Might not be the best idea. I mean, I could try with this. Look how big it is. I'm supposed to be putting it in a, I'll just go try it. Before I start finding about it, right? They're skinnier than these, right? Uh, maybe not. I think it might be about right. This one, that's about right. So these well, this is the one that just came out of there. I there know. it is, right there. So I'm seeing. Look, here's the end of it. Here's what we're working with. The same exact thing. So this one's good. So this ain't going in there. There ain't no way. Hmm. Do you follow? Mm -hmm. So we just need this longer. What if you cut it here? What if I use that? What if you use that? Maybe. Is it too rusty? This one. And then we'll just, I don't know how good that would seal it. It'd probably seal fine on there. You got those blue pliers? Yeah. Maybe, hopefully this comes right off. Easy as it sounds. Like it turn? I think so. Glasses Maybe are not. moving around. Okay, I'll try this one. I thought liquid was coming out, but I think it was just scraping it. <clears throat> I think yeah. that one turned. Yeah. <sighs> so what we're trying to do is use this to, re we're gonna re try and recycle those to cap those ends back into each other underneath the bus.
got to get that much tighter. And this. Mm. Yeah, I'm not guaranteeing this. You want rig, you get rig. It should be easy to fix, even if it don't work. And since it's hot out anyway, you could just use water to fill it up when you're figuring it out. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, is this getting a little bit tighter than that Phillips drill could have? Bam! Any more now? It's gonna break the son of a biscuit. So now all that wire that was right here is gone. The heater's gone, and the rest of the floor is ready to be taken out. Obviously, I still have a little bit of rubber up there, but that's not going to be too big of a deal. I, a lot of you said I should have used that uh, heat gun that I had to get that rubber up, but honestly and truly, I feel like it would have taken a lot more time than just using that big um, crowbar that I have. So. Next video, I will be taking the rest of the rubber out and then getting the floors up and checking for rust underneath it. And then we'll move on to taking care of the rust. And as you can see, I got some Rust-Oleum paint and we will paint this bad boy and start sanding the outside and get everything prepped to paint. I'm telling you guys, that heater was the thing I dreaded the most, but we got it done. I didn't take too long. We got it capped off. We got those wires and, or cords, whatever they were, we got those taken care of. So now the hard part's over and I really truly feel like this is all gonna start coming together pretty quickly, which I'm pretty excited about. So like I said earlier, I'm not feeling too hot. I'm feeling a little under the weather. So I'm gonna take the rest of the day to just rest and kind of recoup and maybe eat some soup or something edit this video and then i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow maybe i will go live or something uh, now that i'm back in tennessee back to working on the bus and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was at least somewhat helpful if you're wondering how to do the heater it's, i was personally a little intimidated by the thought of doing it but once we actually got down and, and started doing it it wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be so if you are dreading doing this as well and you think it's going to be harder then you're hoping it's probably not going to be as hard as you think it's going to be. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to like in this video, if it did help you or you just enjoyed it. And also if you are enjoying the bus build and you want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help. And I just appreciate all of you guys coming along for this ride. I'm hoping to get this bus pretty close to being done within the next couple of months. I have some more trips coming up. In the middle and end of May, I have a couple of trips planned, but I will be taking the van. So I still plan on selling the van at some point, but right now I'm planning on using it for a few more trips. Um, it'll be a very minimal thing compared to, like I won't be living in it fully. Most of my stuff won't be in it. Um, the only thing I'll have with me is probably the Jackery. I may possibly take my refrigerator, which I don't think I've shown you guys yet what that is. That's uh, coming next month. And I have some other things that I can't wait to share with you guys. So I will have some more van life trips planned in the future and I hope that you guys look forward to seeing those as well as the bus stuff. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.